Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a fun video ahead. Do a little DIY, do a little tie-dyeing. So we are jumping on one of this season's trends. Tie-dye is huge for spring summer 19. And instead of going out and buying a bunch of pieces, I figure may as well make use of items that I don't necessarily get a lot of use of and just make them colorful, I guess. So I have a few pieces that I don't wear in my wardrobe. I'll walk you through each item and why I've decided to tie-dye it as we get into the tie-dyeing process. But I feel like tie-dyeing is really a great way to repurpose items that you're not gonna wear anymore. And instead of going out and buying tie-dye pieces for the season's trend, it's just a great little way to have fun and make use of things that you don't really wear. So without further ado, let's just get into the tie-dyeing process. Okay, so this is the dye kit that I bought. Bought it off of Amazon. It is for a party of six, but I am just one person. <laughs> so it came with a tablecloth, which I have already covered my table in. Uh, it also comes with a bunch of pairs of gloves, a ton of rubber bands. Um, it says it dyes up to 36 projects, and it comes with, how many is that, 18 dyes? 14 dies, comes with 14 dies. So, got a lot of work to do. The first item I will be dying is this Ghani t-shirt. This Ghani t-shirt, I don't know if you can kind of see on camera, in the armpits and actually on the inside stomach area, it has gone like a blackish color and that's because I wore it layered over top of a black fishnet top and the top totally dyed the t-shirt. So, in person this is like, dark enough in the armpits that it's embarrassing to wear, so I don't wear it anymore. So that's why I figured I would dye this guy. Isn't this fun, me talking with my hands? I feel like a game show host. Next up, Power Angels. Anyways, first up is getting the item wet. So I'm gonna quickly go run this under the tap, get the shirt damp, and then we will begin. So the first part of this process is actually making the dye. So I'm gonna set this aside. I filled up my <laughs> coffee maker with water and I'm just going to add the water into the dye bottles and give them a good mix. I'm also gonna put on my gloves. Um, so I watched a video on these dyes and they say that the best thing to do is actually fill the bottle of dye up only halfway first give it a good mix, and then add the rest of the water. Oh god, I've already made a mess. Where are the paper towels? this t-shirt I've decided to do the spiral effect so basically what I'm going to do is pinch the shirt in the middle and start twisting until I reach a desired spiral shape and then once I have that shape I'm just going to go ahead and tie some rubber bands around the shape now this will act in helping to hold everything together as well as giving you kind of guidelines for where you want to die. Now you can see already, or I don't know if you can see already, but every little once in a while there's like little specks of color and that's definitely because of my gloves. So it's obviously not a big deal, but if you were going to be doing maybe like a one color tie-dye, you maybe want to change your gloves in between mixing the dye and uh, getting started on the shirt. Remember to double check the bottom side and make sure the rubber bands are to your liking underneath because you will have to dye both sides. With the way I have it banded, it leaves me six spaces, but I have only chosen five colors, so I'll just have to double up on one color, or if you wanted to, you could leave it white. 
careful, it's messy. But I think I've decided I'm going to double up on the yellow color. Now another important thing to remember is the color that it is now won't be the color that it is in the end. It'll definitely fade a lot. But you do want to flip over and make sure you get the other side in the same colors. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop this in a plastic bag and let it sit for six to eight hours. For our next piece, I am just taking an old Hanes tank top I have. It has seen better days. And I am going to do the crumple style. So I'm just going to quickly get this wet and then we will get going. Now that my tank is wet, I'm just going to quite literally crumple it up. With this technique, you don't really need to do any rubber banding. I'm sure you can do one around the edge, which maybe I will just to kind of keep it together when I'm transporting it into the plastic bag. And then we're good to go. For this one, I've decided to do the entire piece teal. I thought that that would be a kind of cool look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt it ooh, all over the table, all over the shirt too. It doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to cover all of the white, and that'll kind of give it that cool effect. I'm gonna flip it over. And into the plastic bag she goes. One thing to note is that my hands are still getting dyed and my table below the plastic is still getting dyed. So I don't know what the deal is there, but make sure that you're not doing this on a table that you truly love. The next item that I'm going to do is actually two items, some old pillowcases. So we have kind of our usual pillowcases that we always switch between and these are no longer them. So I'm gonna do the same crumpled effect but I'm gonna do it in orange. And I feel like that'll make some, for some really cool pillowcases, or at least I hope so. So similar to the tank top, I'm just going to take the pillowcase. I'll do one at a time, but I'll do the exact same to both. Take the pillowcase, kind of lay it out, and then I'm just gonna start kind of scrunching it up. For my final piece, I am doing a Naked and Famous button down shirt. Now, I've only worn this a few times and I didn't get it that long ago, but I shrunk it. So, I will probably end up doing some more DIYs to this piece, but I'm gonna start with tie dyeing it. It's not shrunken so bad because it was a very oversized shirt to begin with, just that was the shape of it. But the arms are just a little bit short and because I do have freakishly long arms, it just doesn't work anymore. So I will probably end up cutting the arms off at some point, but let's start with the tie dye. For this shirt, I've decided to go in with lime, turquoise, blue, and black, but I have a few more to mix. So I'm just gonna quickly mix those up before I get started. I just took off my glove and my finger's blue. Okay, so I've got the long sleeve shirt here, which now occurs to me. Do people dye long sleeve shirts? What's gonna happen to the sleeves? They're just gonna get in there. I guess we'll soon find out. So I am going to spiral this one. It's new gloves. Because <laughs> I have the blue finger. Now because I'm using four colors, I'm gonna section this off so there are like eight pie pieces. And I have my dyes all lined up here, so I'm gonna do black to blue to turquoise to green, and then it'll start back over again at black once I've gone around again, if that makes sense. Okay, 
and I'm just gonna quickly clean things up and then we will be back in 16 hours to check out all of our stuff. See you soon. Hello everyone. Okay, so it is the next day. It's about 1230. So basically last night, after about eight hours, I went and I rinsed out all of the kind of items. So I basically just like unwrapped each one, one by one, ran it under the tap in my bathtub, and I tried to run it so all of the dye was out, so it was basically running clear. I don't think it was running completely clear because it, honestly, I was spending like 20 minutes on each item and it just wasn't happening. So I just let them hang dry in my shower because I didn't want the dye to like drip all over my house. And so they are mostly dry now. So I thought I'd show you guys how they look. I do want to go ahead and wash these in the washing machine. I've been looking up things to do to prevent any color from bleeding. People were suggesting using like vinegar to kind of stop the color from bleeding. So I'm gonna actually go before I throw these in the wash and pick up some vinegar and do a little vinegar treatment. So I will show you guys where we are at. The first item, the Ghani t-shirt. So this says Power Angels in the graphic. I think that this one turned out really good. I did a kind of like classic camp style tie-dye, but I think it I think it looks really cool. Like if I saw this in store now, I would definitely buy it. I think it's really cool. The only thing I don't love, which is just a very minor picky thing, is that in the graphic there's some blue behind some of the lettering, so it kind of like darkened the graphic but I truly don't think it's that big of a deal. And I also think once I wash it again, it will fade out a little bit more. And that is one thing to remember too, even when you're rinsing out the dye after you've done it, it'll lighten as it hang dries. So like the button down shirt, for example, I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. It's like so dark and vibrant, which I really do still like it, but it's not as dark and vibrant as it was before I rinsed it out. Um, but anyway, so this is the Ghani tea. I'm very, very excited about this one. I don't know if I didn't mix the coral color fully, because you can see here there's like little like pink splotches, and maybe that's because like there was just like some dye buildup. I'm not entirely sure, but I do think it turned out really cool and I like that effect. Anyway, the next item is the little tank top. So this one I think turned out really cool. Uh, it's interesting because I used one color on it, but if you look, I don't know if it'll translate on camera, if you look at it, it kind of looks like I used like a green and a blue, but it was just the turquoise color, but the color is almost like separated a little bit. I don't know, I think it looks awesome though. I'm really excited to wear this. I think it's super fun for summer, and it is like a really nice effect that that kind of crumpled effect did. It almost looks like... I don't know, like swimming pool, you know, like the swimming pool graphic of like the light reflecting the swimming pool. Almost kind of looks like that. I like it. Next up is the button down shirt. So this one, you can see, it turned out really cool. So this is the one where I did like the black, the navy, the blue, and the green. There ended up being a lot of white space on it, which I really don't mind, but I think because it was a thicker fabric, I definitely could have applied a lot more dye if I wanted it to be more kind of rich with color, but I think it turned out really cool. And this is the one that I was just like, yeah, it would have been really cool if it stayed kind of as dark as it was. But I think, it, I think it did turn out really cool. The spiral effect isn't as present. I mean, you can see it there in the darker colors, but it's not like a very defined spiral. I think it's pretty like on trend with, um, with the type of tie-dye that we're seeing right now. And then finally, the pillowcases. So these turned out super cute. Here's another one. But yeah, I really like the way they turned out. I think they look super cool. Pat and I recently bought new pillows, so we have like an extra set of pillows that he wanted to get rid of, but I've been like literally saving so I could get like decorative pillowcases. I'm super excited about these. I think they look really cute, fun for summer, and I, I definitely want to raid our linen closet, see if there's any other bedding that I could do, maybe a full sheet set. Anyways, I am super excited about this tie-dye project. I think everything turned out really good. Yeah, I really actually like every single piece. I'm excited to wear everything and use the pillowcases. 
I also feel like I now have like the tie-dye bug. I just want to tie-dye everything in my house. Anything that's white, I'm like, watch out. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to do more tie-dyeing and, and hopefully make this more of a summer thing. Anyways, that wraps up our little DIY afternoon. Let me know if you guys end up doing any tie-dye yourself. Send me photos over on Instagram. If you're not following me, my Instagram is at Rebecca Ramsdale first and last name. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video.